everyone welcome back it's Nat Walsh today we are going to make I think a very cute little card so these are cracker box and Susie stamps oh my gosh I'm going to be buying more of these stamps so we've got um, I think it's called Betsy the Bridget Bridget the information is over on my blog um, we've got the fence post we've got a cute Groot which we're not actually going to use. I was hoping to try and get him in, but I'm not going to do that. Have a look over at their website. The link information will be linked down below just to have a look and see what she's got. She's got like Harry Potters, which I'm so going to get. She's got minions. She's, I say these things because like you don't see these things, but the, she has so many other very, very cool stamps. So this is a part of a blog hop. Um, the information will be linked down below of who's next to go and check that out. So we've masked off our cow. We've got, we're going to play around with the fence now. So we're using this clear piece of acetate if I put it in correctly. And I'm just going to match it up and try and make sure that everything lines up properly. First time around it doesn't. Okay, so we're going to use a mento because we are going to use some Copic markers to color this all in. I wanted my cow to be sort of leaning over the fence. There is a little bit of creative license because some of her fat is sitting over the fence as well. But hopefully if I didn't tell you, you're not going to pick it out. So we're just finishing up her body because... She is only half a cow and this is a very open fence. So I'm not putting any details. I'm just giving her a outline because I figured I can hide her belly. I can hide her legs and everything under, in between the, the fence. Strictly speaking, I probably should have put her udder. Is it udders for cows? where the milk is um, but we're not going to worry about that so I've just uh, free drawn some spots in on this piece of cardstock we'll remove that piece and with our and we're going to color those in too and so some of them we're just peeking out underneath this frame so we'll we'll come back to that in a little bit my wood colouring is going to be E47, 37, 33 and 31. I'm going to try and keep my shading on the left hand side. And at the moment I'm, it's going to look like a hot mess until it doesn't. I'm trying to put some shadow underneath her arms and her fat. <laughs> I don't want to say fat because, you know, but she's a voluptuous cow. That sounds so mean. Anywho, we're going to, because it's going to be overlapping the fence, so we're going to put a bit of shadowing underneath those three spokes of the fence. Okay, so we're going to play with that. What I need to tell you is that there is a giveaway with this hob. It's a $25 gift certificate to Cracker Box and Susie Stamps. It's open internationally, uh, USA and internationally. Uh, the gift certificate was donated by Cracker Box and Susie Stamps, which is amazing. As I said, a link will be down below for you to check out. All you have to do is comment on each video along the way. And then they will pick out some a prize and you'll get a $25 gift voucher to this really cool little shop, online shop. I, I'm, I'm so going to be buying some more bits and pieces because I'm just, I've never seen anyone sort of make like minions and Groot and my niece. I've got a couple of people that really, really love harry potter so that will be involved in our purchase as well 
what else do I need to tell you? Um, yeah, all the information, basically all the information will be down below. So we're moving on to uh, Bridget. I have coloured in with the C, the black, I think it was the black, I can't quite remember. I think it was the C9 actually, over her spots. And we're going to give her a lovely red colour. So our reds that you saw are R29, R27 and 24. With her, she's a white cow with black spots, obviously. For me, anyway. So what I'm going to do is I use the C4, C2 and C0 just to provide a little bit of shading. And sort of looking at it now, I could probably put a little bit more underneath her arm. But at the time, I was... I was pretty happy with it. We're going back into our hoof with the same colors that we're going to do the spots on. So that's our C9, uh, C7 and C5. Our bell, just get rid of some of that. Our bell was YR23, Y17 and Y13. And we're going to do some B4 zeros for just a hint of a sky and I'm going to go over that a couple of times just to get a bit more depth of color but still having it nice and soft because there's just a hint of it okay so I'm trying to think of whether I've got anything more to really say I'm so excited to be part of this hop I am so excited to check out everyone's videos and what they bought the sentiment I bought, which you will see shortly, is I, I stamped only some of it. It says, I'm in the mood to misbehave who's with me. But I'll tell you why I, didn't, I took some of that off. I didn't cut it off, but you know, like I, I masked it. So we're coming in with our spots here. I'm going to cut some of this off to try and save you a bit of time. I'm trying to go, make sure I go lower. I'm doing the darkest C9 on the right hand side. And I'm just, I'm making them different, a little, a little bit different. So there we go. He's all done. I'm with a memento. I'm just going around the edges. I'm just showing you there that I'm holding it upright. I'm not, so it's a slither of it. I'm not got it angled, I was just like straight up. We've got a piece of black cardstock which is the 14.4 by 10 and this one is 14.1 by 9.7. I can't, what was the other one? Yeah, it's 10 and a half centimeters by six and a half, that smaller piece that we're working on. So we've got some of my foam tape. Just make sure you've got it nice and square and straight. We'll get rid of that. That's pretty much uh, that part of our card. Inside the card, see, it just, it just talked to me. It just talked. So the theme of this video hop is thinking of you. Okay. So what I did is, as I said, masked off that piece of the wording that says who's in with me, because on the front, we're going to stamp and clear emboss. I'm thinking of you. Now it's a paper rose. Um, stamp set called hello so you've got big hello and you've got hello my friend you've got um hello thinking of you lots of cool, cool little sentiments that all will go together so we're going to clear emboss that using some black versa fine so this is says i've been thinking of you i didn't want i want it to be cheeky in a sense of i've been thinking about you I'm in the mood to misbehave. The who's in with me didn't sort of go with that. So I've just put a piece of cardstock over the the bottom of it, inked it up, removed that, stamped, wham bam, thank you man. Bit of glossy accents and that's going to be our card. So check out all the information below for the next person. I'm so excited. Take care. See you later.